So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to my dating desensitization therapy, which I know is a little bit of a mouthful, so we will call it DDT for sure. But I'm going to walk you through what the therapy is and why I genuinely believe it is going to be a game changer for any guy who's thinking about doing daytime cold approaching or maybe have it even been doing it for a while. So what exactly is dating desensitization therapy? Well, DDT is basically just a fancier title to say that I will be taking you out on the streets of London and helping you practice your daytime cold approaching. But the course though is specifically designed and bespokely created for people who are very new to the concept of doing daytime cold approaching, as well as maybe even for guys who have been doing it for a while, but they're still struggling with a lot of social anxiety and for guys who are thinking about going to a dating coach, but recognize that it might be too big of a stepping stone for them and they need to take a much more incremental baby step first with getting more social in an, uh, a public space so that then they can really make the most of their time when they do go to work with a dating coach. So this course came about because certainly over the years, and bear in mind, I've been in the dating industry since 2009, I have seen thousands of guys go to dating coaches to do boot camps, residential experiences, and even programs that have been much longer. But certain circumstances or situations have played out where, first of all, guys weren't mentally or physically prepared for going to a dating coach, and they had a lot of social anxiety to begin with and in fact going to a coach has actually made matters worse for them their social anxiety has gotten even worse it's become more traumatic and unfortunately it's made it even more difficult for them to work on their confidence and overcome their limiting beliefs there's also been the guys though who yes they were prepared to go and uh, work with a coach and yes they did get results in a period of time working with that coach but the problem lies afterwards and it's not necessarily down to the coach's fault on this but the guys just aren't following through with the skills that they've learned and develop so what then typically happens and I've seen this um, probably on like 90% of, uh, of cases that then they fall back into their old routines and they just get lazy with approaching and they're just not maintaining those social skills that they work so hard to develop. So my coaching is designed to help people get comfortable with being in those social environments as well as training people to have exercises and techniques in place so they can maintain that skill and that they don't lose it. And again, as I say, that they can then go forward to a dating coach, be well and truly prepared for it and really get the most out of that experience as well. So what are the benefits of doing the dating desensitization therapy? Well, truth be told, when uh, when most guys, I think, get into the dating industry or even consider the idea of doing daytime cold approaching, they always come in with the initial idea that they're doing it because they want to get better with women or they want to have a much better dating life. But the reality is, is the confidence that you get, that you develop with talking to strangers in general, really can ripple into so many other areas of your life. So I've known guys to then become more confident at work. They've become more socially independent. They've become more confident in social environments. They've had better relationships and friendships with family members, friends, work colleagues, and so on. And I've even had the odd story where people have developed their confidence and they've asked for a promotion at work or they develop that confidence to finally quit their job and start their own business. So sky's the limit really in with whatever you want to do with your newfound confidence that you've created by learning how to talk to women in the most unusual of environments. So what is the structure of the dating desensitization therapy? So what's the itinerary of the experience? Well, the program itself is a week long, but we only actually work together for five days out of that week. 
And on the days that we do work together, we will work together for four hours, which is kind of split into two two hour sessions. So think of it as two hours, a bit of a break, and then another two hours working together where during that time, I will be giving you tasks, challenges, and exercises to do to help you to accomplish them. And in doing so, will help you to evolve your confidence and get you more comfortable in being in that social environment. So kind of expect some social freedom stuff, but on a much beginner level. I'm not one of those people that likes, you know, doing stupid pranks in public. I like doing much more sensible things that are incredibly applicable to people's lives that then guys can be very comfortable to go off and do those things on their own. Now, when guys do decide to do the dating desensitization therapy, you also have to understand that every guy is going to be at very different levels. And I want to assure you that that is absolutely okay because every guy's got a very different social life. They live in very different environments. And so they've also got very different personalities and behaviors as well. So the idea, at least with the dating desensitization therapy, is that I will cater to the level that you're at. If you're struggling to go and talk to strangers or let alone even hold eye contact with a stranger, then you're going to be focusing on much more beginner-esque stuff as opposed to someone who can do those things and I can focus on them more so on the actual conversations or the actual approaching or stopping or the limiting belief side of things. So I will cater to the needs or goals that you are currently dealing with and help to hopefully build you up. But on top of that, by the end of the week, you'll also have a load of exercises that can help you to go off and do things on your own. And that's the important thing is that you will eventually get to the same plateau as everyone else is. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially when it comes to the speed and pace that you do that in. Some people learn faster than others. Some people understand things quicker than others. And some people just get better results quicker than others as well. So I cater to every different level. And that is one of the perks of doing the dating desensitization therapy, where unlike if you go straight to a dating coach, they are going to just get you straight into talking to people. And if you're not prepared for that, it could be very overwhelming and can be a little too much. So what can you expect though during the course of the week? So like I said, we would be walking around together on the streets of London and I would be giving you tasks and exercises to do. So that's also then during the time that we are together, but I also give you homeworks and tasks and challenges to do on the days and times that we're not working together as well. I want you to be constantly practicing and taking the opportunity to really push your social boundaries and overcome your social anxiety anxiety. So expect though during that time that a lot of social anxiety is obviously going to come up or traumas may come up. You might suddenly find that you get very emotional at moments because it's just too much or you feel overwhelmed. Well, I'm also trained in something called integral eye movement therapy, which allows me to detach unwanted emotions from memories. So if I find that you get to moments or you tell me that you experience moments that are a bit too much for you, then I can work on those memories and we can try and bring that emotional distress down. So we're not looking then to remove this social anxiety completely, but we are looking to reduce this barrier that is preventing you from maybe taking that initial next step. So an example here would be if you are scared to go and talk to a woman or to, let's say, in fact, let's go even even more specific. Let's say you're scared to ask a stranger for direction somewhere, then working with the eye movement therapy that might at least reduce that barrier so you can go, okay, you know what, I can go and do it. 
or I'll at least try it and see what happens. And then once you've done it, you get more positive reference experience and you realize, oh, that actually wasn't so bad. So at least means that whilst we are working together, I can bring in my eye movement therapy stuff to help you with any particular traumas or issues that do come up. But ultimately, I am there to support you every step of the way to make sure that you are in a supportive environment, whatever level you're at, and that you can constantly keep pushing forward. And then by the end of the week, when we sit down together to plan what your next steps are, Um, because I also move you into my aftercare program where after the week coaching, you then go on to 30 days of WhatsApp support and kind of like the odd phone call support as well. But I will then be making sure and holding you accountable to constantly taking action and going out and practicing all the things that you've learned. You will have to get back to me. You have to let me know how you've done and I can then give you the support that you need to again prep you for carrying on on your solo journey or getting you ready for working with a dating coach. So who is this course going to be for? Well, like I said, it's for guys who are completely new to the concept of doing daytime cold approaching. I think it's going to be a great introduction into the idea of doing street approaching of sorts as well. You know, guys can watch videos on YouTube. They can see in-field demonstrations of all of their favorite coaches, but it's a very different experience when you're going from watching it online to seeing it and doing it in person. And that can be quite a step for people. And guys who are socially anxious, I don't think they quite realize just how uh, how scary it can actually be. So if I can ease or transition you to be more comfortable comfortable with doing street approaching or cold approaching, then absolutely that is my goal to help the guys who are new to it or for the guys who have been doing it for a while to help you with also overcoming your social anxiety too. Now, maybe even you're someone who actually is quite comfortable with doing street approaching, then I, at least because of my experience over the years, I can help you to just bring more authenticity into your conversations. If there's one problem that I've always had with the dating industry over the years is that it doesn't always teach guys to be authentic with their conversations. And you would be amazed as well with how much influence I have had over the years to bring in authenticity or just normal, natural charisma and humor into everyday conversations. So even if you're someone who is confident with doing your cold approaching, then perhaps maybe you want to try and break away from any sort of uh, pickup paradigm that's been taught to you and bring out a much more authentic version of yourself. So that is pretty much everything that I can think of with the dating desensitization therapy. So what would be the next steps if you're thinking about working with me? Well, what I would suggest is going and visiting my website, which is in the description below. Have a look at the dating desensitization page. Make sure that you are happy with everything. I've got the hiccups now. Make sure that you are happy with everything that you have seen on there. And if you are, and it's pretty much everything that you've just seen in this video anyway, but go to the contact page and you will see my email there. And I want you then to send me an email inquiring that you are interested in doing my dating desensitization therapy. Now, from there, we are going to then schedule a phone call because I have to understand what your current situation is and what you're looking to get out of the experience of doing DDT. Again, every guy is at different levels. Every guy has different needs and desires and wants. There are going to be guys that just want to develop their confidence first. And there are going to be guys who want to refine their conversation skills. And there'll be guys who actually want to learn how to get better with talking to women. So whatever it is that you're looking for, I need to be aware of it because then I can also gauge what level you're at and I can then decide what kind of exercises and techniques I'm going to teach you and what we will focus on during the week training. Now, on top of that, if you need it, 
I do actually offer an optional filming service as well, which can be a great thing to, to consider if you want to maybe have a, a third person perspective experience on yourself and see what you look like as you are currently with talking to women on the street. Now, the content for that, in fact, I would even recommend check out the video for that um, and you can find out more. But otherwise, have a look on my website, have a look on the dating desensitization page and you will see information about the optional filming service. So if you are curious to see what you look like at your current level, which I can then give you feedback on afterwards and you can also take that advice and feedback into the dating desensitization therapy or you can obviously carry on on your merry way and carry on doing what you're doing then absolutely you can consider that too or check out the video for it as well i really hope you've shown uh, or you take interest in this uh this course i genuinely do believe it is going to do wonders for your cold approaching and certainly get you ready for working with a dating coach and maintaining the skills that you learn even thereafter but i'd love to hear from you if you are curious about my coaching and I look forward to hopefully booking in a complimentary client assessment with you and working with you as well.